Hey guys, this is the Lair Bear here in round two. Uh, we won the dire roll. We'll choose to play first. This hand is okay. It's not the best, but if we draw a two or three drop, it's fine, and we have our two main colors. So I actually feel fine with it. The Rune Wing is like a decent enough blocker. Draws another, draws another card. If they lay out a two-two or like a chain walk or something, it's actually fine. So we will run with this. Mm, looks like we're dealing with a Rakdos. Uh, Batterhorn's okay. Would really like a 3-drop. Yeah. Now we gotta deal with that. 3-drop. Nope. Alright. So we will be uh, taking some damage here. Next turn, I mean, we'll just lay out the Rune Wing and block whatever the heck else he plays. Probably just block the Shred Freak. Oy. That's a pain in the butt. Well, he seems to have gotten off to a fast start. Hopefully, we can counter. We're going to block the Shred Freak with the Rune Wing. Uh, he's not going to come in, it seems. He's just going to. We're not going to block that. We'll, we'll play out the Batterhorn. Cobble Brute, yeah, that's... okay. Cancel. Um, alright, so here we'll play out, um, Batterhorn to try to trade with the Flailer if we can. Rune will, will be blocking the Cobble Brute. I'd like to have Cancel up as soon as possible, hopefully. I mean, we do have 7 mana in hand, so hopefully we'll be able to keep it up while playing other stuff. But I feel like we need to be keeping it up, like, almost all the time now. Because uh, if he kills one of our dudes, which is just like that, um, we're in trouble. Yeah, we're we're in shit right now. Alright, so he seems to have drawn pretty well. That's game we're going to concede. Not going to show him anything else, because he can just shoot this at us. Um, his deck seems pretty fast. Um, on the play, I do want to bring in the Backlash to counter anything that he shows. Um, I think we can bring out... Um, the pursuit, because if he has can't, if he if he has removal, like we don't want to be doing this. I don't think uh, it's it's actually fine. Maybe we don't want to bring in the backlash, because like we already have a cancel and we have syncopate, so I think we're actually probably fine. We'll we'll run this. I don't think we would you like to play first? Yes. Um, that's okay. I don't think we mulligan this. If we draw one land, we have Splatter Thug, which is good. And then if we draw two, we have other open cards. So I feel like this hand, albeit like while risky, is okay. That's not a bad draw. So now we can go Chain Walker into Splatter Thug if we're lucky. Draw a land here. If not, we're kind of screwed, but... Solid. Alright, so we're going to swing. We'll trade for the Electromancer if he wants it. He does not. We will be playing out the Spider Thug. We will unleash that, and we'll pass. Um, we'll see what he has here. But, I mean, this is getting in some decent damage at this point. And then we have Inspiration and Cobble Root. Bluster Squall to tap down his gun, his guys. So, um... Like, this was a risky keep, but I felt like it was a worthwhile keep, especially because we drew that, that chain walker. That was a solid, solid draw. So he'll bash. Play a tap land and pass. So this could be cancel. Uh, we drew fire, which is nice, so now we can kill anything that he plays here if he leaves back a blocker. So he'll attack for two, obviously. We won't do anything about that. Uh, rally. Interesting. Okay. It's not the worst. Um, 
Hmm, this is getting a little bit more awkward. So we just swing in with the splatter thug. We do need that last land. Alright, so he took there. So if we can draw another land, we can blush a squall. Annihilating fire becomes pretty good to because uh but now we're gonna be taking six, so that's something that we need to take take into consideration too. Um we just need to draw land, basically. We'll see what he attacks with. I don't think he can attack with too many of these guys. He's gonna lead back one. Okay, so we'll take the five here. Hopefully he plays out something else we can kill with annihilating fire. And then uh is he going to He's gonna leash that. Okay. So that means we annihilating fire that. Syncopate would have been awesome a while ago. So we'll bash in here. Alright, and we can leave up Syncopate now. He's going to crack us back to 5, drop us a 6. But he's going to drop to 5, and that means that if we draw 1 land, we win. I mean, also, if he, do, if he leaves back one blocker, he's dead as well. So if he swings with all of his guys here, and then tries to play out two, we can count on the last one and then tap the other one, because we don't need to overload Bluster Squall if it really comes down to it. So I feel like we're in pretty good position here. He's going to leave back one. So we'll take this, obviously. And then he's going to pass. That's interesting. So we did draw land. Uh, interesting. We could tap that. We could have tapped this down, but I feel like he has a removal spell or something. And he can pay for the syncopate. So he's going to Inspiration. See, now I can cast this. Because now he doesn't have enough mana to pay for the Syncopate. Alright, solid. So we won that one. Um, alrighty. I, mean, I feel like, I mean, Electric Green might be worth it because he has the Shred Freak and the Rally. It's also decent with, um, what's it called? We might just want to take out the Fairy Imposter because it seems kind of weak here. It seems like Anti Tempo, which is this bad against him. Electric Green might be more worth it. I don't want to bring in, uh,. Backlash on the draw, because counter spells on the draw, especially a four mana one is not gonna cut it. Um Electric he might be worth it. He showed us two. He showed us the uh the two one haster and the goblin rally, so I feel safe enough bringing it in. Plus it, it it'll randomly kill something too. Uh yeah, this hand is okay. It's not the best. I mean we would like the red. But we do have our splash color. We have two of our colors. So it's probably good enough. There's our other one, so we're looking pretty good now. No Shred Freak. Seems pretty good. Chain Walker is awesome. So that was a really nice draw for us, obviously. And he's screwed off mana too, so we're in a really good spot. So he's got to have like a ton of stuff in hand. Uh, play the island. So we'll swing in here.
Uh, play the Vassal Soul, I guess. It actually doesn't... I mean, if he has a removal spell here, I guess. But, I mean, we can always just... Like, I was thinking about leaving up Cancel, basically. Was the other option, but... Uh, I don't know. I feel like... He doesn't have Supreme Verdict. And then the only other card that really scares me is, like, Mizium Mortars or something like that. So... I feel like this is actually fine. Uh, sure, we'll just play that out. Play this. I don't care if I'm overextending at this point. Like, I don't think he has anything that's going to wipe the board, and he's dead now. Like, you, we want to put Lethal on board. Um, I guess he could have Downsize or Cancel. I mean, not Cancel, Bluster Squall. But we have Cancel, so... That should be game. Yep. Alright, so we're headed into the finals. We're 2-1, and our opponents haven't even finished their game one yet. So that worked out pretty nicely. I'll see you guys in round three when we get there. Hope you guys enjoyed so far.